guys, Marley here and welcome back to a, another video. Today we are doing something super fun because I am doing a collab with a bunch of other really cool simmers um, and we are doing gemstone based sims. So I don't do a lot of cast videos. I don't feel particularly confident with my creative skit with my creative sim skills, but here we are. Um, this collab was really cool. A lot of really fun people. Everybody is so nice. So I'm going to link their channels down below. Go and check them out. Every single one of them will be linked. I also will have, um, you'll be able to see their sims in the thumbnail, hopefully, if I can get that worked out. So you can have a little preview of what you're going for. But basically, what we did is um, pick gemstones, and then we made sims based on that. So they're all very ethereal sims. Well, that's not true. Some people went for really modern looks, like a modern, like, just based on. I went for more of a, like, literal translation in my eyes. Um, I guess I should say the gemstone I picked is Rose Quartz. Uh, I didn't actually know. There's a cartoon character called Rose Quartz, and uh, she's apparently very like famous so um i also think in my head like of pink opal those are like kind of similar i think so i kind of was envisioning both of them but i will try and leave some screenshots of the pictures i was looking at for inspiration um but yeah so not based on the cartoon character sorry i am not that cool i didn't want i don't i didn't watch a lot of cartoon network cartoons i think that it kind of just like really skipped my sense of humor age you know so when I was younger obviously I watched like Nickelodeon and Disney and then when I was old enough to want more of that like because when I was really young I hated like fart humor um I hated anything like crude anything that was like I I was a kid so obviously this doesn't count and I'm so ashamed that I was such like ugh, I was such a know-it-all but I really hated like what I considered to be like immature humor um so I really missed out and then about like when I turned like 17 I started watching like Bob's Burgers and like Family Guy and like those kind of shows so I do like that kind of stuff now but unfortunately Adventure Time which I think is the show that it's on um fell right in that bracket for me of not being able to really like appreciate the jokes and appreciate the storytelling style so I have no idea what the character looks like I have no idea what she does um, so, you know, it, my character is not based on her at all. I am, I downloaded a lot of CC for this video. Um, I will try to link the CC down below. I think that I know what a lot of it is. So if I can find the links again, I will definitely link it down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, I downloaded a lot of CC for her because I needed to get obviously some pink hair. I needed to get some pink eyes, um, and some other things. I really wanted her to have white freckles because Rose Quartz has this like, some of them, like, when they're not polished, have these, like, white speckling effects. But I couldn't find any white freckles that I really liked. If you know of any, please tell me in the comments. So she ends up getting some pink freckles. And this video, I do a lot of tampering with her face. I also change her skin tone quite a few times. She started with a tanner skin tone, and she ends up being very pale. Um, when I wanted white freckles, I wanted to go with that more tanned skin. But then what I ended up using, it didn't really show up as well. So I went, like, the complete opposite direction. Um, also, the eyes I chose, you can see how she turns shiny sometimes. The eyes are, like, hollow. They're, oh, well, uh, that's not, they're not really hollow, but they're a little hollow. They're reflective, and so I think it, like, glitches her out sometimes, um, and she looks like that in her gallery picture, but when I played with her in-game, it was fine, so it should be fine, and a lot of this video is just me going through different CC eyes and picking one that I like. Obviously, um, hair also... Create a sim, guys, it's really just not my strong suit. I don't know. All my sims look the same. I'm not really good at branching out. I tend to, like, just pick features that I would, like, find attractive on a person. So I don't get a lot of diversity. And when I do, like, try to um, do, like, different things, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know how to make it look good. Um, but actually, I did do something different here because most of my sims are very either ranging from, like, tan to, like, um, like a deeper skin tone because that's something that I just find really beautiful. So I tend to make a lot of sims in that range, maybe because I'm trying to emulate something different from myself. I don't know. I'm the color of paper, but she is very pale. I think she's the palest skin tone you can get. And a lot of this video is just me, like, trying on. Like, I tried on every single eye. I tried on every single skin detail. Because you never know what you will find that you really like. She ends up getting my favorite skin detail, the one I just clicked on. Um, it's my favorite. I don't know what it's called because the name isn't in the little icon. And I found it again the second time when I was just, like, downloading a bunch of skin tones from a list. So I don't know the name of it. I wish I did because I would, like, promote it to everyone. But it's so good. It's, it's just... it's. A lot of the custom content skin overlays change their features too much and they give them like duck lips 
like, I don't know how to explain it, but they, like, widen the lips and make them look like they're, like, um, you know the face of the kid? I will try to put the meme up here if I can remember, but he's, like, yeah, he's, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it makes them look like they're doing that, and I don't like it, so I don't really use those skin details, but my favorite one does not do that at all. Um, here you can see I'm looking through some custom freckles. I see I did find some white ones, and they just looked way too unnatural, and I hated it. Like, because I know that it would be unnatural to have white freckles, but I, she's like, uh, you know, I imagine her, she's like ethereal. She's like a fairy or something, you know. She might have white freckles, and I just didn't really love the design of them. So I ended up going back to the pink ones, which I thought were really cute anyway. And I give her some really cute, like, pink blush. The whole thing is very pink. Rose quartz. It's like a blush tone. Um, this hair I found I thought was perfect. I really liked the vibe. And then with her outfit, I tried to go more, um, like, girly and, like, whatever but I don't know I really I first I want to do something I first I had this like holographic pink hoodie that I think would have been perfect but it did not go with the vibes of the sim I was making and you know you got to follow your vibes but you will see it here it's a really cool cc I just googled pink hollow sims 4 cc and it was one of the first things that came up if you want to look for it um, here I am just looking through the skin details one more time, making sure that I didn't miss anything. I was looking for white freckles here because I thought that I had downloaded some, but apparently not. Um, and now I'm going through makeup. I don't give her a lot of makeup, just some lipstick because I thought her lips looked weird the way they were. They just, sometimes the Sims 4 lips just look unnatural, so I did give her some lipstick, but, um... Oh, and I branched out my eyelashes today, guys. I've only ever used the Kajiko lashes, and I downloaded, like, a bunch of different lashes other than the Kajiko ones. So I'm branching out. I'm being risky and testing my boundaries. I was also going to leave her with no eyebrows. That was um, basically, like, I took her eyebrows off earlier, and then the whole time I was creating, I was like, yeah, she's just not going to have them. She looks better without them. And then at the very end, I was like, okay, she might need eyebrows. But I gave her some really, like, thin, old-school-looking eyebrows, which look really good on her. I would not put that on any other Sims, but honestly, I really liked them on her. Maybe thin eyebrows are gonna make a comeback. <gasps> Who knows? Am I predicting it now? Am I a trendsetter? Maybe. Um, and you can see now I'm gonna go find that hollow uh, blah, 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 like sweater top that I was talking about, like something like Ariana Grande would wear. I think it's beautiful and I wish I could have used it. Um, but it just wasn't working with my vibes. And now that I'm looking back at the footage, it kind of actually looks good. So maybe I was wrong and maybe I should have went with that. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should have went with that outfit. But instead I go with for something like base game. Um, I don't, not base game. Something like that's not CC. Um, and it's from a pack. Dang, I don't know. Oh, is it CC? No, it's CC. I lied to you. I lied completely. I went for something CC. Not sure where I got this either. I'm the worst. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We are coming close to the end of this video. Again, I am going to link below all the awesome creators who are part of this collab. Um, please go show them some love. Go comment. If you go to another one of those creators from my video, please leave a comment saying that I sent you over. Hopefully, their viewers will see it and return the love. And... Guys, you are just so awesome. Thank you to everyone who's entered my giveaway so far. Just a little reminder, if we reach 500 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away two expansion packs of your choice. The details are linked in my Twitter if you would like to see more. And other than that, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.